morning and welcome to the vlog. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and like these videos. Um, so for today's video, I thought it would be fun to talk to you about the perfect di diaper bag for anybody really, but especially for people that have mobility problems and need to have their hands free or they can't carry things on their shoulders or need to attach things to wheelchairs or strollers. Um, it's called Sleepy Panda, and this video is not sponsored, but I will have the link in the description below. So they have a smaller size, and then they have this size. They might even have a bigger size, I'm not sure. But this diaper bag is incredible. It has so 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 much space so i'm gonna kind of show you what it all has and then i'm going to show you what i put in my diaper bag so again talking about all the space so you've got this front pocket here and then you have this next pocket but um this next pocket um has places for bottles and stuff so in this pocket, there's two places to hold bottles, um, and then there's a place to put like a spoon, like a kid's spoon. And then, so you have those two places to hold bottles, or you have two isolated pouches on the side as well to hold bottles. And so that's really good. So there's that in that pocket. Okay, and then you have this, so you have this ginormous, big, main pocket. We can hold a full-size Costco formula container plus more in there. So in this big, big pocket, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different compartments, not including the huge one. Okay, and then what's also nice is they have this USB hookup, and then on the side, you can hook your uh, rechargeable battery, and then you can hook that to the USB to charge your phone. So that's nice. And then right here is another pocket that you can keep your cell phone in or your keys, whatever. Okay, and then here, uh, when you close the bag, there's even another pocket. And all these pockets are really deep so you can put a lot of stuff in them. The other thing I really like is then you have this back pocket with stuff and then one more zipper pocket. These three things that go in the back of the diaper bag. So it comes with a portable changing pad, which is really nice. We'll stick it in the back there. And then, this is awesome, because this is a waterproof bag. So there's two pockets. There's a big pocket, and then a smaller pocket. So this is nice if your kids spill something, or have an accident, or something. You can put the soiled clothes in here, and because it's waterproof, it's not gonna soak in or get anything else in the diaper bag wet or soiled with any of that stuff. Then you have another isolated pouch. So you can stick another bottle in here or maybe some snacks that need to be kept cool or medicines or anything like that. And the other thing I love about this diaper bag is that it has these, um, these hookups that can hook up to a stroller, a wheelchair, a walker, anything. 
thing so that if you can't carry it on your back, it, back, it can hook to something else. So that's nice. The first thing that we keep in there, um, obviously, is a receiving blanket or just a small blanket to keep her warm in case she needs it. Um, that just goes in the bottom. And then on, we keep a big thing of baby wipes. So that's convenient. Um, and then we obviously keep some diapers. Now, I went on a trip when Jamie was, I think, two months old. I went with my parents to visit my sister in San Antonio, or excuse me, El Paso, and we didn't have a lot of room. And so my goal was to fit most of Jamie's stuff in her diaper bag, and then I just had one bag so that I didn't have to worry about it. So I was able to fit like 30 diapers in this diaper bag with a brand new thing of wipes. Um, and obviously with a newborn, I didn't know how many diapers to bring. So I brought another pack that I put it in um, my suitcase just in case. But I was able to keep um, like 30 diapers, wipes, seven, like, 10 outfits because I packed like a couple of extra outfits. Um, seven things of pajamas, bottles, I was able to, medicine, I was able to put all of that in this diaper bag. So it's also really convenient, Coco stop, um, when you just want to put all of their stuff in one bag. So we keep diapers in one of these um, pockets. And we usually keep, it can usually fit about like 10 comfortably in just that little pocket. Um, obviously, you can always put more stuff in the big pockets, but I try to keep things organized by separating things into the little pockets so I don't have to search everywhere in the big pocket. Then we also um, keep some toys in the diaper bag, obviously, because kids get bored. Um, and then when she was littler, um, she doesn't need it as much anymore, but there's two things that say, actually three things that saved our butts. <laughs> Gripe water was awesome. Some people swear by it. Some people say it doesn't work, but for Jamie, it worked. So if you're expecting a baby soon, get gripe water or the other thing that was different than gripe water that I think worked a little better that our pediatrician recommended was the Gerber Soothe Drops. And you just give them um, it once a day and it really helps with colic. So we always had um, the gripe water, the Gerber Drops, and the gas drops in the diaper bag at all times because you never know when they're gonna get fussy or what they're getting fussy for. So I tend to overpack, but this backpack allows you to do that because there's so much room. So we always have like two bottles and I love Tommy Tippy. And it really just depends on your baby because each baby is different. But the Tommy Tippy bottles and pacifiers, Jamie loved those. Now that Jamie's eating more solid foods, um, we keep one of her baby spoons in with the bottle as well. And then, of course, you always need a burp rack, especially Jamie. She was kind of a spitter-upper. And then, just, for, just to show you how much more room there is, so, um, I put the two bottles in this pocket, but then there's space for a bottle over here. Now that she's going to get older and she's, we're trying to teach her to sip out of a sippy cup, we can put the sippy cup here. Or right now my husband also uses it sometimes if he wants to bring a, like a soda or a water wherever we're going. He puts that in the thing as well. Um, since she's on the bottle, 
we got this cool little compartment thing, which is really nice. It has three different compartments. So you can scoop up the amount of formula you need and then just put it in here. And then all you need to do is fill up the bottles with water and then dump it in. So we actually keep that um, in this side pocket because she only, we don't need all of those pockets for bottles. Um, and then along in the same pocket with her bottles, um, we keep pacifiers. She, when she was younger, she really liked pacifiers. Um, and again, we use the Tommy Tippy pacifiers, which are really good. But then Jamie discovered her thumb. So now she would much rather use her thumb than a pacifier. But we keep the pacifiers in there um, just in case she might need them someday. We always carry um, diaper rash cream. And then um, with this front pocket, typically I'll put my wallet or my cell phone or keys. We also keep um, an extra pair of clothes in the diaper bag in case something happens um, or pajamas. Another cool thing is with all this stuff in here, we still have room to put stuff for mom and dad in here too. So again, this diaper bag is amazing. Um, I will have the link in the description below. It's called Sleepy Panda. It's awesome. Um, so a couple other things that have really helped us. So I mentioned gas drops, gripe water, Gerber Soothe drops, Tommy Tippy bottles, Tommy Tippy pacifiers. The other thing that made things really easy was what you've seen in um, the other videos, the crib that my mother-in-law made for us. Um, also, the bassinet on wheels that I've been able to push her back and forth in. And then also, um, I swear by uh, infant swings. When she was a newborn for probably four months, she fit in that swing and she loved it. And it was the kind that would go sideways like this instead of this way. So it was more like the natural movement that you have in the womb. So that was really nice. So I would recommend getting a swing. Um, the other really good thing, which I didn't use as much as I thought I would because Jamie slept in her own room in her crib after a month, which was awesome. But while she was sleeping in our room, the other nice thing was the Halo bassinet. And I really liked this bassinet for a couple of reasons. It's the same height, it can be the same height as your bed, and then it, it does this cool thing where it swivels, and so it, like, you can just swivel it towards you, and it goes, like, over the bed, almost like a hospital tray, if that makes sense. So you can pull it close to you, and then you can push down on the side, and it goes down enough so that basically I was able to just kind of scoop Jamie towards me, and so that was convenient. And it also had a nightlight and music, and it was just a really good bassinet. Um, I'll put that in the description below as well. These are just suggestions of things that were helpful for us, but it doesn't mean that they'll be helpful for you. Um, I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And we will see you next time.